Good morning everyone and welcome to our act of worship on this fifth Sunday of Lent. It is good to be able to join with one another, not of course in the way we would like to, in person with one another, greeting one another, sharing our time face to face inside our churches. But we do have this opportunity to share our time with one another and unite with one another in prayer and unite through sharing our agape meal. I am joined for this act of worship and sharing by my daughter Rebecca and wife Shona. Also later in the service after we have shared our food and drink we will have the opportunity to sing together Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You. And thank you to Helen and David Kennedy from Sully Parish Church for providing us with the music for this. If you hear a dog barking at any time, that will be Dexter trying to get in on the act too. And if things do go wrong, like suddenly my phone has burst into life, please ignore and forget about that as well. This is all a learning curve for us all. I hope you've managed to get some bread and wine and water to join with us today in our meal of love and thanksgiving. Today is Passion Sunday, the start of Passion Tide. Passion Tide is a time when we refocus in Lent and think about Jesus setting his face towards Jerusalem and the crucifixion. Today's Gospel reading is from St John's Gospel, chapter 11, and is frequently referred to as the raising of Lazarus. What we can learn from this reading this morning is that amongst the worries of the season we are currently in, Jesus walks with us, Jesus weeps with us, and Jesus will transform us. We commence Passion Tide with thoughts of the cross, but also in the knowledge that it doesn't end there, that Easter will come again. So today we gather in hope, hope for a time in the future when we will be together again and worship with each other. But until that time, we keep the hope burning in our hearts through prayer and sharing time, even remotely, with one another. So now let us start with a prayer. Heavenly Father, loving Lord, we thank you for the time that we have to join with one another in our worship and praise and thanksgiving to you. Be with us today and may we remember through our reading of the scriptures that it is in you that we put our trust and hope. We remember that Jesus came not to be served, but rather to serve. Help us to serve you by serving one another. We pray for all key workers, for all carers, for all in our hospitals, care homes, schools, those involved with food production and selling foods and transportation, we pray for all who are faced with making difficult decisions today and we pray for all here and around the world who are suffering with the virus and those who mourn today. As Jesus, as Jesus comforted Mary and Martha, help us to receive and reflect his compassion to all people. Amen. So now, if you would like to join me, and turn to the first page of your order of service leaflet. For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptised into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. So if you'd like to pick up your cross, if you've got one with you, 
and put it in front of you. Forgive us, Lord, when life in this world causes us to forget the life and love we find in you. Forgive us, Lord, for all our faults, which you have atoned for us upon the cross, and let us find new life in you. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now we get our candle. And we light our candle. Hopefully it will light the first time. We give you thanks, O God, for in the face of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, we see the light of the knowledge of your glory. In him you have called us out of darkness into your marvellous light. Let us shine with that light, so that through our true selves, and with all we are and all we do, bring love and care and understanding to share with all new life in you. Jesus said, do not labour for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him God the Father has set his seal. And now we bring our food to the table. First, our bread. I do hope you're able to have some bread and some wine and some water to share with us today. Bless us, Lord, and give us food for our journey, where each of us, in fellowship with one another and in fellowship with you, may walk together to encourage and nourish one another, both in and out of season. Amen. And now our Gospel reading from St John's Gospel. A man named Lazarus, who lived in Bethany, was ill. Bethany was the town where Mary and her sister Martha lived. This Mary was the one who poured the perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped them with her hair. It was her brother, Lazarus, who was ill. The sisters sent Jesus a message. Lord, your dear friend is ill. When Jesus heard it, he said, The final result of this illness will not be the death of Lazarus. This has happened in order to bring glory to God, and it will be the means by which the Son of God will receive glory. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, yet when he received the news that Lazarus was ill, he stayed where he was for two more days. Then he said to the disciples, Let us go back to Judea. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I will go and wake him up. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had been buried four days before. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, Lord, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask him for. Your brother will rise to life. I know that he will rise to life on the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. I do believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who has come into the world. After Martha said this, she went back and called her sister Mary privately. The teacher is here and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up and hurried out to meet him. The people who were in the house with Mary, comforting her, followed her when they saw her get up and hurry out. They thought she was going to the grave to weep there. Mary arrived where Jesus was. And as soon as she saw him, 
she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus saw her weeping, and he saw how the people who were with her were weeping. His heart was touched, and he was deeply moved. Where have you buried him? Come and see, Lord. Jesus wept. The people said, See how much he loved him? But some of them said, He gave sight to the blind man, didn't he? Could he not have kept Lazarus from dying? Deeply moved once more, Jesus went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone placed at the entrance. Jesus ordered, Take the stone away. There will be a bad smell, Lord. He has been buried for four days. Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believed? They took the stone away. Jesus looked up and said, I thank you, Father, that you listened to me. I know that you always listen to me, but I say this for the sake of the people here, so that they will believe that you sent me. Lazarus, come out. He came out, his hands and feet wrapped in grave clothes and with a cloth around his face. Jesus told them, Untie him and let him go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And now we'll have a moment of stillness as we set our minds and as we pray together. Lord, shine your light upon those who live in worry and those who live without hope, faith or love, that they may know your true love and the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, shine your light upon the world and bless all those who bring comfort, aid and support to all who are in need today. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, shine your light upon those who suffer today. We bring to mind the sick, and we pray for all who are affected across the world by the coronavirus. Give them courage and hope. In a moment of silence, we name in our thoughts any known to us who are in special need of our prayers today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, shine your light upon those who mourn. We remember all that have died and light a candle to symbolise the light of Christ, a light no darkness can quench. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So now, let us give thanks for the meal. First, the food. If you all want to hold your bread or the dish your bread is in, in your hand. And we say together the words... We give thanks to you, our Father, for the life and knowledge which you have revealed to us through Jesus, your servant, and for the food we eat. To you be glory forever. Now, if you'd like to take the cup in your hands, we hold the cup and we say together, We give thanks to you, our Father, for the holy vine of David, your servant, which you have through Jesus, your servant, to you be glory forever. So now let us share our meal together in the fellowship and love of Christ.
crystal, let me serve you. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. We are pilgrims on a journey and companions on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and ever load. I will hold the Christ light for you in the night time of your fear. I will hold my hand out to you, speak the peace you long to hear. I will weep when you are weeping, when you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joy and sorrow till we've seen this journey through. When we sing to God in heaven, we shall find such harmony. Born of all we've known together, of Christ's love and agony. Brother, sister, let me serve you, let me be as Christ to you. That I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing these moments here today. My prayer for you is that it is through these times together that we receive comfort and renew our hope. Keep remembering each other in your prayers. Serve God by serving one another. And above all, keep safe. Amen. Let me finish with the conclusion. God bless each of us as we travel on in our times of need. May we find a table spread in the wilderness and companions on the road.